In this example, we are going to look at preparing our closing journal entries. So it says that our company has a fiscal year end as of May 31st, and it gives us our revenues, our expenses, our dividends, and our retained earning balance. Something that's a good habit to get into when you're doing your closing entries, if you have information that's provided to you this way, is to first determine if you're going to have a net income or a net loss, because that's going to factor in how we're going to put together that first journal entry. Remember, for our closing entries, we only close the temporary accounts. Our revenues, our expenses, and our dividends are the accounts that we consider temporary, meaning that they only track information for a one-year time frame. So at the end of the company's fiscal year, we need to set those balances back down to zero before we start the new fiscal year. So we know that our retained earnings account is a permanent account, so it does not get closed out at the end of the year. However, it is going to get adjusted because of this closing process. So again, the closing process is basically journalizing the two items that change the value of retained earnings that we see on our statement of stockholders' equity from the beginning of the fiscal year to the end of the fiscal year. And those two items are net income and dividends. So we need to look at and see if we have a net income or a net loss. So we know our fees earned account is our revenue account. So we know what our total revenues are, but we need to know what our total expenses are. So we had $200,000 in rent expense, we had 19,300 in supplies, 915,000 in wages and 31,900 in miscellaneous. That gives us a total of $1,166,200 in expenses, and we need to compare that then to our total revenues of $1,150,000 that we've earned during that period of time. So we can see that our revenues are less than our expenses, which means this year we would have had a net loss of $16,200. Again, something that's a really good habit of doing prior to journalizing your entries. So all of our closing entries are dated as of the last day of our fiscal year, so in this case, May 31st. And to close out an account, we wanna do the exact opposite of the balance on that account in the general ledger. So we know that all of the account balances that are listed would be the, the account's normal balance. And an account's normal balance, we know, is whatever side would increase the account. So our fees earned, our revenue account, would increase with a credit, which means in our general ledger, the fees earned account would have a credit balance. So if we want to make the balance zero, we're gonna do the exact opposite. And we are going to debit it for $1,150,000. We now have a net loss that we need to list. Remember, all of our um, accounts that are being debited have to be listed before any credited accounts. Retained earnings is a stockholder equity account. Retained earnings increases with a credit, which means that it would decrease with a debit. Net income would increase retained earnings, but a net loss would decrease retained earnings. So we need to list our retained earnings next for that $16,200. We don't put in a minus sign, we don't make that value negative because a debit automatically indicates that our retained earnings would be reduced. And then we list out each one of our expenses. So we have our rent expense for 200,000. We have our supplies. for 19,300. We have our wages expense for 915,000. And finally, we have our miscellaneous expense for 31,900. Your expenses in your journal entry do not have to be listed from greatest to least with miscellaneous last. That is only on your financial statements. We have a second entry that we have to make here because the company did pay out some dividends of 5,000. Dividends, again, reduce retained earnings, so we're gonna debit retained earnings for that 5,000. 
and dividends would normally increase with a debit, so we want to decrease it and close out that account by crediting the account for a total of $5,000.